Hey y'all, happy Friday. We made it to the weekend. I'm so glad you guys are here. If you don't know me, my name is Kim Kellogg and I am the creative force behind Lilac Lane DIY where we hope to get you creative and keep you creative. So I made a post a little while ago and I know everybody has been in my inbox about this set. So I know you guys love it and I love it. This is our patriotic standing shelf sitters and this set is to die for i love it it's got six pieces and you get all of them in your set and that class is on the 23rd i believe i just posted a little while ago and about a dozen of you have already um messaged me about it so i know you love it just like i do hey guys hey fee terry linda hey mom so that set's coming up. You don't wanna miss that class. It is gonna sell out. Super, super adorable set. We're doing um, our patriotic 4th of July stuff a little early this year so that you can enjoy it for Memorial Day, then 4th of July, and of course, then Labor Day. So who doesn't love red, white, and blue, right? <laughs> so we also this week, and this has been a huge hit, released our tooth fairy boxes. These are too stinking adorable. If you have not seen these, where have you been? These are precious. You open it up and it's got a little space for your tooth to go in. And then on the back, it says in this box, you will find a teeny tiny tooth of mine. So sweet. They are adorable. If you have a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, you have got to get these. They are adorable. So that being said, if you're coming to play with us tomorrow, let me know what time you're gonna be here and what projects you wanna work on because I know I have a lot of you coming to play tomorrow. So make sure I have a ballpark time of when you're gonna be here. And we have two projects tonight. And the reason I tell you that is because one of them is our make and take for tomorrow and you're gonna love it, but you have to pre-register for it so I know how many to cut. I have some cut because I have an idea of who's gonna wanna do this one, but you do need to pre-register so I have a better idea. So. It's a set of three potted flowers and they sit like this, super, super adorable. This would make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. Erin, I haven't seen it yet. I've been swamped, <laughs> swamped, but I'll look as soon as I'm done. Hey, Tammy, so it's a set of three. You get these two flowers and then this one and it's $20 and that's our make and take for Saturday. And so we are gonna paint this tonight. Um, live so you can see how easy and fun it is and we're also doing a beautiful hello door hanger that I love 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 this one's gonna be gorgeous so I'm excited to get started we're gonna start with the door hanger so that the parts and pieces can dry well so I'm gonna go ahead and tilt you guys down and we're gonna get started tilt you down we're gonna paint our background navy blue so I'm gonna get my paint together here. I didn't get all my cups out or anything. I'm, I'm a, I literally had my last customer leave three minutes before the live, so bear with me. So we're gonna paint this background blue. It's gonna be a very simple one. It's gonna require two coats, I'm sure. Navy usually does. We're just gonna give this a good base coat, which you guys normally don't have to watch me do. I normally try to do this ahead so you're not bored out of your minds. But tonight, we just have to work on this together. So I hope everybody's had a great week. It's been a long week around here, not gonna lie, but a good week. We have, um, we've had a lot of new customers, which has been nice to see. So people are definitely getting out. Um, we've been busy putting people's kits together, so that's been fun. I love to see the things that you guys like, so it's always fun to see what sells the most of during the week. I usually give myself a little wager as to what the project's gonna be that is the most popular one. And sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> Aaron, you just tell me what's good for you, honey. I'm here all day. I just like to know when you're coming. I mean, don't come at nine o'clock. You know, I'll still be in my PJs. I won't be here yet. <laughs> hey, Lisa. All right, get this one covered real good and then we'll put a second coat on it. I'm gonna hang this on my front door, I think. I, I really love this one. 
and I'm doing white on the top part so that this navy really pops. I'm super excited. Super excited about this one. There we go. My paintbrush has got some water in it. Move that up before I get blue paint all over me. I've managed to stay clean all day. Linda, you see, I didn't even change my clothes. I'm, I'm being very trusting today. Same clothes I had on when I saw you. I'm trusting myself not to make a mess, which could be dangerous. All right, I think we got a good coat on here now. I think this is gonna be good. A little extra paint, so I'm just brushing up to even out my paint, because I don't want it to be thicker in some places than in others. And that's all I do on any of them. I just go back and forth until I've got a good coat. I think that's gonna be fine. I'm push this out of the way, hopefully all the way over there, so I can paint the rest. We got too many things on this table. I was not kidding. She literally left five minutes ago. All right, there we go. So now these pieces. These are all gonna be white. I think that's gonna be a great contrast. So I'm excited for that. Excited, and navy and white goes with just about anything. Yep, I, I'll check it out, but I should be fine, Erin. That sounds good with me. Not something crazy, is it? <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna give this a good coat. I love these cut out flowers. This is so sweet. So super quiet here, oh my goodness. Once everybody leaves in the afternoon, it gets very, very quiet around these parts. I don't even hear any traffic on 17 tonight. Michelle. Hey, Lynn. Do you guys have big Mother's Day plans for the weekend? Any special events going on for you guys? Children all work on the weekends, so I don't know that we'll do anything on Sunday. We might do something Monday. I think our whole household works on Sundays, although we will be closed this Sunday. We will not be open. lost my spot to hold it because I painted it. <laughs> it's a lot of little detail painting, but it's going to make such a great impact on this sign. I can't wait to see it all put together. I've been waiting all week. I almost did this one Wednesday because I was so excited, but I'd already decided on the others, so I stuck with those. 
and they were cool too. Oh my gosh, I love that tag. Next section. Michelle, congratulations on Ronnie's grades. Oh my goodness, he's doing so amazing over there. That's exciting. Before you know it, he's gonna be all finished. little bit more guys oh my goodness I love how once you get these all painted and you put these parts together they just look so impressive like you really put a lot of work into them and sh you're the only one that has to know that you did not that they're not work but they're not nearly as difficult as they look when you get them put together that's gonna be our secret I won't tell a soul Okay, now we have to paint our hello white as well. And then that centerpiece that's gonna separate these two, I'm gonna do in a light blue so that it looks a little bit different than the rest. Oh yes, Holly, I love the tag too. Oh, Michelle, I bet it did. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting because you always wonder when you send them off, how's it gonna go, right? And now two years in a row, he's done well, which is awesome. He's going to be so prepared when he is on his own. Holly, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm already doing better than the other night. So, <laughs> not so much caffeine today. So, maybe <laughs> maybe that's it. Oh, but I did fix it. Did you see? I fixed my boo-boo. If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at, right? And the tag was the very clear winner this week of um, orders. Although the lemon gave it a run for its money, but the tag still won. And something else gave the tag a run for its money this week that we didn't do this week. What was, oh, it was the starfish banner. Oh yes, the starfish banner from the mantle. All right, so we'll set that one aside and now we'll do that light blue section in the center. 
And then our pieces may be dry enough to put together. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The chunky hello is cool, Ashley. I like that too. That was one of the reasons I picked this one because that I like that hello. It's very prominent. And it's nice, the chunky hello is nice against the filigree floral. It's like the two different textures, which I like. So there's definitely a method to my madness, I promise. I promise. I don't think the base of this is quite dry yet, though. So I think after I paint the center section, we'll start making the pots of our of our standing flowers, and then we'll put them all together at the end. Because I don't want any boo-boos tonight now that I've bragged to Holly that I'm doing better. So we'll wait for them to completely dry before we put it all together. That way I can't drop it with wet paint. That was like our blooper live video. I know some of you mamas who are getting some gift certificates for Mother's Day. Y'all got some good sons is all I'm going to say. That should tell y'all who you are. <laughs> I've dealt with more boys today. My goodness. Panicked boys. It's only Friday. They're fine. <laughs> This one aside and we're gonna get started on these flowers because these are too stinking cute I really really like these flowers I think they're fun all my mess out of the way and I just about put blue paint in my hair I've been putting paint in my hair all week all week long I've been painting my hair okay so pots I'm gonna do the small pots first without the flowers. So we're gonna use a brown and a terracotta. See if we can get that pot look. <laughs> you couldn't decide, so you had to get both. I can't wait to see your lemon display on your table, Ashley. That's gonna be really pretty. I love the idea of the um, three-tiered tray with the, with the other pieces. I think that's great. All right, now on these, you won't hear me say this often, but these are three-dimensional. So you are gonna have to paint all the sides. So front and backs of these. So I'm gonna do this chestnut brown first, and then I'm gonna go over them with a terracotta color. Just try to get them a, look like an old clay pot. We'll see how it goes can hurt. You never know until you try something whether it'll work. If it doesn't, I'll paint right over them. And y'all be the only ones who knew the difference. can't wait to see all the variations of these flowers tomorrow. Oh my gosh, because we have got some talented customers. Now this is a make and take, but you will be able to order it as a kit too if you're not able to come in. So it, the way that it gets posted, you'll be able to, to indicate whether you're coming in to do it or whether you want it as a kit. And if you're taking it as a kit, your paint won't be packed up for you. You'll pick it when you get here, unless you want it just the way I paint mine.
You could give one of these to three people that you love. Or you could give one to your mother, keep one for yourself, give one to somebody else. You could keep all of them, <laughs> which is what I may do. Oops. Hey, Sharon. Are you working tonight or are you off tonight? Get some terracotta here and see how this works. Let's see how we like this. I don't know whether I'm going to like it or not. Oh, I think I do. I think it adds a little something. Just going right over that brown. It definitely looks more like a pot, I guess. I like it. You're working. I figured you were. Hopefully they're not keeping you too busy. Because that's bad news. <laughs> For everybody involved. Alright, now I can't flip those yet because they're wet. So we'll start working on the flower pots for the flowers. And I'm just using the same brush because it's okay if it gets all mixed up since we're putting the terracotta on top anyway. These are just so much fun. We have a few more spots for the flower cart tomorrow too. I'm so excited about that one. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful. These go together pretty quick. See, these flowers won't die either, so if you give them to somebody, they'll have them forever. They won't be throwing them out next week. Sharon, I think you can keep these alive, too. Kitties can't get into the dirt. They're perfect. They're just perfect. Uh, and that's a, that's a hike. Roanoke is a hike from here. Whew. But it is closer than St. Louis. This is a fact. Now 
we should be able to go back and flip our others. Get started on the back sides. When you're done using these for the season, if you take them down, they just slide apart so you can store them flat, which is really nice. They don't take up much space when you don't have them out. finish these pots because I can't wait to paint the flowers. Going super simple. I'm doing pink and purple and yellow. But you could be as detailed as you want. You could do designs on them. Um, of course, polka dots, which is liable to happen because y'all know I love my polka dots. I do think as the terracotta dries on there, it's very, very cool. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but the more I watch it dry, the more I like it. Look how that gives a look of an old pot. When it was wet, I couldn't see it, but now I can see it. Oh, I can't wait for you to get back so we can craft, but I want you to have the best time ever, Michelle. The best time ever. I'm jealous. Still got to do the other side of the other pots. My goodness. It's going to be worth it, though. They're going to be so stinking cute. Switch spots there. I have to work in this little square. I'm not used to that. Y'all know if you've been in here, I spread out. I put my stuff everywhere. But I usually work on like six projects at one time, so that might be why. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Sandra. Happy Friday. All right, let's see. Let's put him there. Flip him over this way. We'll get it. 
then we can start painting the flowers. And then we'll put our other sign together and we'll be done just like that. All right, now while I have this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and paint his leaves. I think since he's right here, waiting to be dressed up. We'll do the same thing with this little guy right here, since he's right there just waiting. Remember, you have to do both sides because this is a three-dimensional flower and it stands up, so you'll see it from every direction. So once we get all this done, we'll have to flip them over and do their back sides, and then we can put them all together. Same thing. These are just happy. And I can't kill them, which is fantastic. Somehow my outside plants seem to be thriving and I'm not sure what's going on. I'm even remembering to water them, which is unheard of. Poor things usually starve to death. I remember them the first week I get them, and I saw a meme on this the, on Facebook today. The $8 plants will last you a week. You'll kill them in a week. And the $13 plants, you'll kill them in two weeks or three weeks. And then the $20 plants, you'll kill them in a month or two. And that's me. So I should only buy $8 plants. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody did some baby shopping. Sounds like it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna paint this little guy, and I think we're gonna paint this little guy pink. I gotta leave all those colors out there because we have to do the back sides of these again. So we'll start with some pink. This is a bright pink. Good morning. You won't be able to miss this flower. It's very bright. Wow. <laughs> it didn't look that bright on the bottle. That's all right. Bright is good happy.
That's probably gonna need a second coat, but we'll wait and see. We'll paint this little guy next, and I think I'm gonna do him yellow. Andrew, that is gonna be one spoiled baby, I'm telling you. <laughs> but I can't even joke, because if I knew I had a grandbaby coming, I'd be broke all the time. I would be shopping like crazy, because everything for babies is so stinking cute. It's hard to know when to stop. <laughs> One of my daughter's girlfriends had a baby and it was so hard to stop buying things. Like every time I go in a store still, I'm like, oh, that would be so cute. And that's not even my grandbaby. <laughs> Very sweet. All right, we know we gotta do a purple one because we always have to have purple around Lilac Lane, right? Gotta, gotta. <laughs> already is yes <laughs> I wasn't gonna sell you out though Andrea <laughs> I was gonna just pretend like we didn't already know you were already spoiling that baby They're so sweet. Oh my goodness. I like them. Okay, now, oops, I'm getting splatters everywhere. I am going to put some little details on these leaves. Whoops, that was a big detail. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant to happen, but that's okay. Happy accidents. All right. Now, another coat of pink, because, you know, that coat's not quite bright enough. <laughs> We'll get it even brighter now. This is like the happiest pink in the world. You're gonna see this flower coming for sure. This is not a wallflower. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Let's put another coat of yellow on and then we'll wait for that to dry for a couple minutes and we will flip these over and paint the other side so we can see how beautiful they're going to be. All right. And I need, I really need black, but have black in front of me so I'm gonna skip that step right now but I'm gonna show you something really quick because it's gonna drive me crazy I want to show you what they look like look how cute they are look how sweet that's so stinking sweet I love them love them love them love them very very pretty I think I'm not even gonna paint the other sides I'll just let everything dry I will paint the other sides before tomorrow but I'm gonna show them to you really quick. These are so sweet. All right, so there they are. You may or may not see polka dots on these when you see them in the picture. I'm just saying, super, super cute and so much fun. That was easy, right guys? Super easy, didn't take very long. 
I'm gonna move them out of the way because we are gonna put together our door hanger really quick really really quick and then I'm gonna let you guys get back to your Friday night that's still not completely dry but it's gonna be fine I'm not gonna drop anything on it all right so this is how it's gonna look these pieces go here this piece goes here this one goes here oh my gosh this is beautiful and the hello goes right there wow See, that is such a big impact with just simple. I mean, it was so simple to paint. All right, so let's get this glued on. And remember, you don't need a ton of glue. You don't need it oozing out of the sides. It does dry clear, but you still want to try to be mindful of, of where it's going to go if it comes out. So I don't put a ton. It's very, very good glue, so... Things are not coming apart once they go together. You have a couple minutes of leeway to get things where you want it. So it's, it's not an instant stick, but once it is dry, it is not coming off. All right, so we're gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put these brushes on top of it. In fact, I'm gonna put brushes there and brushes there. And now you can hardly see me, right? Sorry. There. So now I'm going to glue this center piece because that's how I'm basing my distance. I've made sure that this first one is right where it's supposed to be. Scoot it if it's not. Make sure it's right on the edge. There we go. And now we'll glue this one on. I put the top back on the glue for some reason. Oof. It's, it's been a long day. <laughs> then we're just going to glue this one on. I'm actually going to move these so you can see, and then I'll stick it back down so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll put something heavy on it when I'm done. This comes together so beautiful. And I just can't wait to see your color combinations because I just know y'all are going to come up with some amazing combinations. So, so pretty. Oh. I can't put it on my door tonight because it won't be dry all the way, but tomorrow this is going on my door. I love this. Love it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look how pretty. That is gorgeous. What a statement that will make on your door or hanging on your wall in an entryway. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So we've got this one. We're gonna have to take a vote as to which one's the best one for the night. We've got the hello. And then we have our adorable tulip pots. That's a tough one for me because I thought I knew what I liked the best before I started, but now I'm unsure. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Of course, Ashley will get those links out for you guys um, momentarily. You could definitely do these, Terry. You could definitely do these. Yes, don't delete my page. I can put you to work for me. You can, you can come straighten this mop every time I'm going live, Holly. <laughs> That's how you can pay for crafting. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And I think that I have a surprise live tomorrow night because I cut two more projects that I absolutely love. And of course, we didn't have time to do them this week. So you may get another live tomorrow night with those two projects. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. And thank you guys who've stopped by this week. It has made my day to see each and every one of you. And I am going home to cut the rest of your projects so that you can pick them up hopefully tomorrow hopefully, but some of you just ordered it maybe next week. So let me know which one of these you like the best and have a wonderful Friday night. And for those moms out there, have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Good night.